Hello developers, welcome back to Ayastech. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can deploy your Angular project on a Linux server. So very first thing is that I don't have any Linux server. So I am going to create a new Linux virtual machine with the help of DigitalOcean. So let's do that quickly. Click on the create button droplet. So if you already have a virtual machine or Linux, it's okay. You can continue from there. But uh, if you don't have any and you want to create a new virtual machine with the help of this, then you can follow along. So now here in the marketplace, I'm going to pick a ready-made server. So for example, I want to upload on Apache or let me try lamp. So there are several options that you can try. So we will use this one. And after that, you can select the type of CPU, I will select the, the cheapest one because we just want to test. And now you can either select a password that you will uh, use to get access to your remote server or you can use the SSH key. So I already have added my keys here. These are the list of my keys I can select from this list or if you don't have it already in the list, you can just click on the new SSH key and you can easily add your key here and if you don't have any key then here you can see the instruction you can generate a key by typing this command in your terminal and it will create a new key for you and once your key is created you can copy the key uh, the public key from your dot ssh folder so let's do that uh, i already have added i am just going to show you that how you can do that so this is my Mac uh, terminal here. I will just add this and you can see that it is now showing the content of the I, the public con file content. So you just have to copy it and paste it here. Give it a name and click on the add save add SSH key. But I already have it. I will not create it. So now just click on the key that you want to select. Scroll down and click on the create droplet. So it will take a little bit time. Once it is installed, you will be able to access it from the terminal very easily. So meanwhile, it is being installed. We will discuss other dependencies. First of all, we need to have an Angular project. You can use any of your existing Angular project or you can create a new Angular project. You can create a new Angular project by using the command ng new and project name and then go to the that project after it is installed by using the command cd project name once you are in the project you can open that project by using the code space dot to open the vs code or if you want to open in another editor uh, then you can simply manually open the editor and open the folder and load it there i already have it open in my terminal and I, in my vs code and uh, i already have started my server that by running this command so i will show you which command i used to run it to start the server you just have to type ng serve minus o press enter and it will start the server and open it in the browser it is already running for me because i have ran that command already so you can see that uh, it is currently working in the browser now i want to upload this project to the remote linux server now you can see that the Linux server has been installed. So if you copy it and try to access it, you should see that uh, this is a default page that is being loaded. So now it is saying that you have to log in to Droplet uh, to configure it. So let's do that. Copy this IP address and open the terminal and type ssh root at the rate paste the ip address press enter
so it is not uh, currently allowing me to access that uh, server the reason is that it is still in process behind the scene so maybe we should wait for some time let me try it again okay now the server is ready and it gave me access to this server now you can see that I am already in my server and these are the initial uh, instructions and welcome message from the server. You can see that it has 22.04.2 installed by default. And it is telling you that in the web browser you can view by opening this URL. So this is the same IP that, uh, uh, that I opened earlier. So now you can uh, simply go to this uh, path and you can edit the index file or you can upload your file so let's try to edit my index file first here you can see we have index.html i'm going to remove it and then i will add a new html file for that add nano index.html here I will add HTML or let me just add h1 tag control X save it now if you reload it you should see the content that I just added so now we know that how to update the content of my server in the www slash HTML directory now we need to upload our angular project to this remote folder so for that you can see this is my angular project now first of all i have to build my angular project once it is built i will be able to copy the built files to this uh, remote path so let us build it first so for that type the command ng build press enter so after running this command it is building after building the project you can see there is a new folder dist now i need to run another command i will show you i have written it for you so i will run this command so this is the source path and this is the remote path and here we will add the ip address so let us copy the ip address from here here i will add the root and i will explain quickly that what are these flags for so minus a means archive mode which preserves the permissions ownership uh, and other attributes of the files v is for verbose mode showing you the files being transferred Com and for we are using z to compress the data during transfer which can speed up the process especially when copying over the network so that's it now i have to uh, fix the paths once that is done i will run this command so here i am going to get the relative path of this folder so type pwd and this will give me the relative path of this project now i will add it here slash and dist slash login okay now uh what is this root okay now i need to paste the uh, pa remote path where i want to upload it so let's uh actually we already know that it is in this path in the remote so i will just copy it and paste replace it with that one okay now you can just copy it and open a new terminal and paste it it will it should migrate all of the data to the remote press enter and wait for some time if this uh, a, a rsync uh, library is available then it will transfer everything very easily you can see that it has uploaded all of these files for us and it is telling us some information there that it took uh, this much time and the, this is the size and uh, this is the total size all right so now go to the remote server and uh, here i will check 
to see files are uploaded there type ls you can see there is a login folder so here i will add slash login press enter and you can see that it is added but uh, it should be in the root directory because there is a path issue uh, it was supposed to be on the root so i'm going to delete the index.html and now i will move all of the content of the login to the root for that i will use move login slash all and dot slash it will move all of the content of the login folder in the current working directory type ls now you can see it has all of the data here now if i reload it it should work fine you can see that my uh, website is uh, successfully uploaded to this remote linux server and you can see everything is still working so this is how you can upload your angular projects to a remote linux server very easily that's all i wanted to show you in this video if you have any questions or feedback then please please leave them in the comment section and uh, please subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos and also please like and share this video thanks for watching see you next time